Starting a new report with Scribeware is as simple as hitting this button. All right, now that we've created a new report, let me uh, show you how easy it is to start filling it out. Uh, so the first, um, these are our chapters over here on the uh, left-hand side of the page. If you go all the way over, this is the home button where you can get back home, uh, that, which is uh, where all your uh, inspections will be stored. We have a preview feature, so right before you publish it, you can preview things to kind of see what the finished report will look like. This is the publish button, so when you're all done with the report, this is what you will do to publish it. Uh, this is a copy report button, kind of cool, but if you um, ever need to copy an original inspection, which can actually be super helpful for just making sample reports for your website and stuff, uh, you can hit copy report and then take all the client, the sensitive information out. There's some other useful features for this that we can talk about in another video. Uh, the submit feedback button, which is really cool. This allows you to just give um, us at Scribeware your feedback so we can make the software better. Uh, and then there's a settings button, which we'll make another video about. Uh, so the client and property information page is where you fill in the client name and email. You can email your reports when you're done straight from the application. So there's no need for third party software or even you know, putting things into Gmail, you can just send right from the application. You can put in the property address here, client name, uh, or excuse me, agent name and agent email. Um, and then below here is where your templates. So um, you can make as many templates as you want. You can have a residential, <clears throat> the basic ones I use is residential, condo interior only. Uh, I have an itemized reinspection and a limited inspection template. Um, but you can see we've got some sewer scope guys and uh, we recently built a New Jersey template. You could build commercial templates, whatever you want. We can help you build templates and you store them here and that's where you'd choose your inspection template type. The report title will just reflect um, what the report says on the receipt or the invoice on the back page of the report. Um, so, and you can always change that to whatever you want, but we can just leave that as residential inspection. The software automatically populates the date for you. Uh, right, the pest inspection, if you do not do a pest inspection embedded within your report, then you can leave it off. And if you do, you can toggle it on. Um, so that's pretty easy. Uh, either way for you. Um, and then right here, the cover photo is where you drag your cover photo in. So we can uh, get a cover photo all set up. Uh, over here, we've got the ICN number, and this is related to pest inspections. If you work in a state where you need a different type of number, just let us know. We can set that up for you. Uh, we've got invoice items. So again, the, the software, when you're done, will automatically, the back page of the report will either be an invoice, uh, or if they've paid it, you can toggle it over and say that they've paid, uh, and maybe they wrote you a check, and maybe your fee was uh, $750. So we'll put that in. Um, and then let's see, what else do we have? The um, frequently used observations are on this cover page. Uh, so let's say you're doing a house, pr most of the houses I do, pruning vegetation off the house comes up. Uh, often the gutters are clogged with debris. If it's an older building that doesn't meet AFCI protection, I might make a note about that. Uh, we have a lot of power outages where I live, so I might check a surge protection note. Um, Let's see, septic system, or let's say you're on a sewer even and you want to recommend a sewer scope, you could check that box. Um, I often make a note about a moisture alarm for um, clothes washer hoses. Um, if it's an old building, you could have a lead and asbestos disclaimer kind of note. I have a bathroom testing procedure note um, that I put in all my inspections. So boom, right there, we just went down, uh, we'll close this up, but that added probably um, seven or eight different observations instantly to the report. Um, and that's just stuff that I use all the time and I'll show you in some other videos, but any observation you make, you can add it to this frequently used observations. And if you make the same observation on, on uh, reports all the time, it's just, it only takes seconds to add 
10 or 20 observations that you use all the time. So really convenient. Uh, so great. Uh, we are now all set to write a home inspection report. I hope this video has helped you helpful and uh, we'll uh, see you on the next one. Thanks.